your mother and I are swingers. Hang on. What? We're swingers. We sleep with other people. Lots of others. Multiple partners. Sometimes at the same time. Which is funny, because you always said you weren't into gangbangs, didn't you? That's right. But it's somehow empowering. Empowering? Yeah. When you see pure ecstasy in the eyes of four guys as they stand around you and come in your face, it's... Stop! Why? We thought it was better than getting a divorce. For your sake. I love your father. But our sex life... Horrific. I just look at him and... Nothing. His body's like a melted ice cream. Just... Ugh. For a long time, our sex life was... Well, the elephant in the room. But it's been a lot better since... Probably since that dinner with Sarah and Jeff. Yeah, I'd say so. What happened then? We had sex that night. <laughs> well, if you can call it that. I literally died inside. And went completely limp. Total flop. I've been thinking of Sarah. It was the only way to get, you know, mm. hard. Then at some point... She turned round, reality hit me and... It just went and I was relieved. I'd been thinking of Jeff and... But I knew the truth, to be honest. I'd been imagining other people for about five or six years. And I was getting sick of just going from behind. Same position each time. Probably because it's easier to imagine it's someone else, I suppose. That's right. And it's not a good position for me to strain on my hamstrings. But anyway... But anyway, Frank told us about this swingers group that he attends with Beryl and it gave us a new lease of life. Frank and Beryl? What, from across the road? Yeah, save their marriage, or so they say. Oddly, Frank and I had the same little kinky quirks and fetishes. And ironically, your dad and Beryl were quite well suited as well. You were never a fan of the biting and scratching, were you? No. Mm. And Beryl's more patient than into role-play. Oh, I could never get into playing someone else, a character. Oh, I just like to be thrown down, roughed up and ploughed. Oh, I've heard enough. I'm off to Seb's. Ah. What do you mean, ah? Um, he's not around. We're actually off there tonight. Linda and Ron are hosting. Eventually. We have a few other bits planned first, but Seb definitely won't be there. They've sent him off to stay with family for the weekend. They weren't ready to have this conversation with him. Ron and Linda? Swingers? M massive swingers. Swinger enthusiasts. They were the pioneers of the neighbourhood keys in the bowl movement. Neighbourhood keys in the bowl movement? It's taken on a life of its own. What a real sense of community to the area. More friendly. Everyone smiling and interacting. Would you listen to yourselves? A sense of community. It's true. Everyone's more willing to help each other out. Exactly. Everyone has been intimate. And openness and sexual freedom mean that jealousy and paranoia doesn't... And no one is frustrated either. Take the other day, Alan Matthews came round to take a look at the boiler. We were both feeling horny, so he slapped me about a bit and we had rough sex on the carpet. And the violent urges I used to have, gone. Violent urges? Yeah. Urges, impulses, fantasies, whatever you want to call them. I no longer look at your mother and think, I want to cave your skull in, you fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> Which is obviously a good thing for me. <laughs> I get it. You look a bit upset. You think? 
<laughs> hey, old Punch. Are we ready for choir practice? He knows, Ron. Oh. <laughs> dogging. <laughs> Are we ready to go dogging? Yep, yeah, nearly. We're just having a quick chat with Dave. All oh, right, then. Are we watching him fooling around tonight? Are we, uh, you know? Let's play it by ear. Ah. Play it by ear. I can't take this. No. I know I'm going to regret this. But I need to be able to walk down the street and know who not to look in the eye. Who is a swinger? Oh, I'd be quicker to name who isn't. <laughs> Liz and Peter Dawson? Swingers. Uh, Stacey and Franco Morcotti? Swingers. Uh, Kate. Uh, pretty Kate and what's his name? Uh, Jason. Uh, They're not, but we're trying hard to convert them. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly wouldn't kick her out of bed. Why ask? Son, hang on a minute. We're not done here. What? You want to delve further to make sure I actually kill myself? There's another matter at hand. It's something that well, we've been meaning to talk to you about for a long time now. It's been bothering us. We're worried about you. What is it? Son, we think you're spending too much time on those computer games. <laughs> Kids. Oh, I forgot my... Really? 